The fall typically ushers in the start of the RSV or respiratory syncytial virus season. Very young children and older adults are at the highest risk from a severe illness. And this year, there are new tools to protect both groups. For adults 60 and older, um, there is a recommendation for something called shared clinical decision making for a vaccine. So that means that um, people can go to their doctor, they can talk to them about the risks and benefits of getting the vaccine. But the recommendation is, is for the RSV vaccine in that age group. We know that RSV causes pretty significant disease in young infants, particularly their first RSV season. And so there are two products. The first is a monoclonal antibody um, to be given at birth, and that is recommended for every single baby at birth. Um, and for high-risk babies also in their second year of life. And that will be given either during the hospitalization or at a pediatrician visit before the RSV season. The other new product, which is still under review, but will likely be recommended for use, is going to be the maternal vaccine. And so this is going to be given during pregnancy um, between 32 and 36 weeks gestation, and uh, also before the RSV season or during the RSV season. And the idea is that then that vaccine will protect the mom, transfer the antibody, and then protect the baby. And as for slightly older children. All the kids who, were not exposed in the past several years, did get exposed this past year. So they had their first round of exposures. So we are no longer um, dealing with a situation where nobody has seen RSV for several years. So I don't think it will be as severe as last year. Um, and it probably will not be as early as last year.